Yeah, life. Lovely. And we're live on YouTube. I was just checking that everybody could see everything properly. I always worry because you've got to be able to see your days of the week. We've got a star that's kind of dropped off there. So let's move it over to here so you can see it. My goodness me, how are you all today? Have you all had wonderful, wonderful mornings so far? It's sunny, the sky is blue, the sun is shining. Oh my goodness, it's a lovely, lovely day. Let's sing our welcome song together. Are you ready? Here we go, get those waving hands to welcome everybody to today. Hello everybody, it's time for us to sing. Hello everybody, it's time for us to sing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time for us to sing. Well done, everybody. My goodness, and so many of you today to say a big hello to. So if you would like me to say big hellos to your little ones, pop their names in the comments, either on YouTube or on Instagram, and I will make sure to say a big hello to them. Now, if you are watching on Instagram and you'd like to watch on a larger screen, I run the live simultaneously on YouTube. So I'm right here for you, and then I can see your comments straight away as well. Right then. It's time for you to all use your brilliant thinking skills to tell me what day it is today. So we're going to run through the days of the week song and see if you can guess what day it is today. Are you ready, everybody? Here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday too. Every day's a happy day, every day's a magic day, each day's a different day and every day is new. Did you get it? Did you find out for me what day of the week it is? Well done if you did. Of course, today is... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I need to get my purple Thursday card out. My turn, Thursday, your turn. And if you've already done your phonics learning with me, you'll know that this sound here is a th sound. So just to make that even clearer, I'm going to put a sound button on it for you so that you can really see it for th Thursday. There it is, just for you. Now I need to grab some blue tack. There it is, my goodness. I thought it had been taken again by Cheeky Eddie, who likes to make teeny little snakes out of my blue tack, which is quite handy for today's sound. Oh, I've given you a big clue. So let's pop Thursday up on the wall. And as usual, we are going to be looking for a superstar today. So I'm going to be looking and listening for little ones that use their brilliant talking for sounds, their singing, their wonderful actions, and all of the other things that we look for. I'm also looking for children who've been marvellously helpful at home and really, really kind. So... We've got our days of the week. We know that it's Thursday today, so it must be time for some phonics. This is going to be the last sound that we learn for this week because tomorrow I'm going to be teaching you all to cook up a lovely lunchtime feast and I cannot wait. So let's make this one really, really count and warm up for our phonics today. Can you show me your looking eyes? Here they are, blink, blink. There's our looking eyes so that we can see our sounds. Next up, we need our listening ears. Here they are, ready to get those listening ears ready. There they are. Well done, everybody. We have our listening ears. And then we need something that's even more important. Our talking mouths. We have to be able to say the sounds in order to read them and in order to write them as well. So looking eyes, listening, ears, talking mouths. Let's warm up those mouths. We're going to be aeroplanes today. Put your arms out wide and make the sounds along with me. Here we go. Well done. Now we're going to warm up our tongues. We're going to do high pitch and low pitch. High pitch, low pitch, high pitch, Low pitch. Well done, everybody. So you should all now be suitably warmed up. So the next thing we're going to do is our speed sounds. So let's have a look at the sounds that we've already been learning. 
of which there are two, and I will use clues, especially for little ones who are only just starting to learn their sounds with me. So are we all ready? I'm going to hold up the sounds. You're going to say them, then I will say them, and then I'll show you the picture clue. Are we all ready? Okay, here we go. What sound is this? Well done. You're right, it is mmm, mmm. And if we have a look at the picture, it's our lovely Maisie who goes up, down, over her mountain and over her mountain. Maisie goes over the mountain, Maisie goes over the mountain. Well done, everybody. And I know that some of you have been using glitter pens and glitter gels and glitter glue to write this, and I've seen them, and I'm very, very excited. <laughs> and what about the next one? The sound that we learned yesterday. Well done, everybody. The sound is ah. My turn, ah, your turn. My turn, ah, your turn. Great job, everybody. Now, if I turn the, the, the sound around, we'll have a look at the picture clue. And the picture clue is of an a, a, apple. There's our apple. We go around that lovely round apple, up to its top leaf, down to its bottom leaf and flick. We were making apples yesterday, weren't we? But so YouTube decided to stop the video. It's okay, Net though. They've decided there was no reason to do that and so they've put it back up. So if you'd still like to carry on with making your a a apple, then you can. My turn, apple, your turn. My turn, a, your turn. Fantastic, everybody, great job. Now, the sound that we're going to be learning today is a really super one. It's absolutely smashing and I love it. I'm going to say some words now and I want to see whether you can guess the sound that we're going to be learning today. The sound is at the start of the word snake. The sound is also at the start of the word socks. Are you wearing socks today? Well, then you can say it out loud. Socks. <laughs> the sound is also at the start of the word six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sound is also at the start of the word soap. So let's use some soap. Give ourselves a wash all over soap, soap. The sound is also at the start of the word saw. Have you ever seen anybody sawing through a piece of wood or a log? The sound is also at the start of the word sun, sun. I'm imagining by now you can hear the sound at the start of the words and you might know what the sound I'm going to be teaching you is already. Shall we have a look at it? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. The sound that we're learning today is, drum roll please, <laughs> my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. Now, if you have trouble with this sound, you can always imagine that your tongue is a nice flat butterfly. When we want to make a s sound, we put our teeth together and we let the edges of our tongue come up a little bit to meet our teeth and then we push the air through like this. S well done, everybody. My turn. Your turn. My turn. S your turn. Fantastic. Well done now. Shall we have a look at the picture clue at the back of the sound? Here we go. I bet you can't guess what it is. Something that actually makes the noise itself. S have you got it? It's a snake. Well done, everybody. It's a snake. Sing the song about the snakes with me. If you know it, you can join in or you can learn it while I sing. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. 
the snake is in the grass. Well done. Now let's have a close look at that snake. So we start at the top of the snake's head and we slide down its slithery body. We start at the top of the snake's head and we slide down its slithery body. Well done. Use your phonics finger with me. Start at the top of your snake's head and slide down its slithery body. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. So let's pop our snake card up on the wall. And then I'm going to use my... Oh, we're going to have a look at these in a moment. So I hope you've been looking at them. So let's get the soundboard, which I have remastered. There you go. It's not as it's not quite as floral, but I'm going to buy a new one. Hopefully you can all see. I might turn the screen around for you a little bit. There we go. Okay, so there is our snake. And we're going to have a go at drawing or writing rather, the shape of that sound. So we're going to start at the top of our snake's head and we're going to slide down its slithery body. There we go, well done. Start at the top of your snake's head and slide down its slithery body. Well done, everybody. That's absolutely fantastic. What's up, Boo? Can I move the phone because the... Yeah, of course. The if words you... are covering up. So absolutely. Can't really see absolutely. It. That's fine. There we go. Okay. So now I am going to use today's sound pack. So if you've got one, then you can do this along with me. But if you don't, that's fine because we can still play the games and things together. Now, Bella, if you could set the screen so that it's recording as normal. So don't worry about the comments and things. If you're worried and you can't see past the comments, I would definitely advise going on to YouTube. Bella, have you got it so the angle's right? And I only do that because when I say this as an Instagram TV video, the comments aren't there and then suddenly you're just going to see lots of wall and not me teaching so if the comments are bothering you then just hop across to YouTube and you'll be able to watch the video without any so okay I have got now my sound pack and we're going to play a few games do a couple of activities if you've got your sound pack then you can do this along with me but if you don't have it it after okay so I'm going to grab what color pen shall we grab let's go for green today so I'm going to go through that shape again, the snake. We start at the top of the snake's head, curl around its slippery body and flick. There we go. So let's do that again. But this time I'm going to do it all by myself and I'm going to try and do it with the lines. So I start at the top of my snake's head and I slide down its slithery body. Let's do another one. There we go. How did you all do with that? Are you all drawing along at home with your paper or your whiteboards or your sound pack? Brilliant. Well, now I need you to help me with the next activity. So this time I'm going to get a red colour pen. I'm going to take my sound pack, pop it on a board so that you can see it. And we're going to see if we can spot the words that start with S. So we've got lots of lovely pictures here. And I want you to have a look and help me see if you can circle all of the pictures that start with S. Now, if you don't have one of these at home, that's absolutely fine because you can pretend to circle with your finger. So let's start with this one. Oh, it's the C, the C, C, S. I can definitely hear a sound of a S in C, S. So I'm going to put a big circle around this one. Now tell me, what is this funny looking thing? Well done, it's a sock, sock. Say it out loud for me, sock, sock. Now tell me, does sock have a s in it? Sock. It does. Well done. So we're going to put a circle around that one too. And what about this creature? What's this? Can you see it? 
It's a B. Well done. Say B out loud. B. 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 Can you hear us at the start of that word? B. No. B. 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 It's starting with a B, isn't it? So I'm not going to put a circle around that one. And what about this one? It's a snake. Snake. Well, we know that, of course, has snake and snake has s at the beginning. That's even our picture on the card. So we know that one. That one's easy peasy. Let's put a circle around our snake. And the final one, can you see the picture there? The final one is a picture of some soap. Say that word out loud for me. Soap. 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 I can definitely hear a s sound in soap. So I'm going to put a circle around that one too. Well done. Now you can carry on with all of those activities and there's some on the back as well. And don't worry if you don't have this yet, you can still get them. They're actually on sale at the moment at 99p and you'll also got a pair, uh, get a parents pack as well that goes along with my teaching today. So that is how we make the s sound. So let's do a very quick recap before we use it to blend our new high frequency word. Okay, so my turn, s, your turn. My turn, s, your turn. Fantastic, everybody. You are all doing a marvelous, marvelous job. Now we're going to learn a new word, and this is a high frequency word, which means it's a word that you're going to need to know off by heart. So here it is. I'm going to pop that one there. And that one there. Okay, let's use our sound buttons to read the word. Ah, s, ah, s, as, as. The word is as. As cool as a cucumber. Can you say that with me? My turn. As cool as a cucumber. Your turn. As cool as a cucumber. Or as slippery as a snake. We often use the word as when we're describing something. So you could say Bella's hair is as brown as hmm, a tree. Because <laughs> well, I'm as tall as a tree. Isn't You're I? nearly as tall as a tree, maybe a Christmas tree. Yes. As. So that's our new high frequency word for today. And let's see if you can remember the other words that we've been learning. Are we ready? I'll hold them up. Well done. My turn. The. Your turn. My turn. The. Your turn. Great job. Let's put that one up there. What about this one? My turn. As. Your turn. My turn. As. Your turn. And then finally, this one. Well done. My turn. Am. Your turn. My turn. Am. Your turn. Great job. So remember, these are words that we just need to know. So grown-ups, it's always good to make a copy of them and then you can practice them at home. We are going to be making flashcards for you to download and print, so we'll get on to that quite quickly and then you'll have those too. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is a little bit of segmenting. So I'm gonna take my sounds away for the moment. I want you to help me to make a word. Do you think you're ready? Do you think you're ready for the challenge? Okay, so we're going to be making the word. Did we do Sam yesterday? I think I, don't know. We, I think I we think did. We might have. I think you're right. I think you might we might be right. So let's do this one. Okay, so it's about practice at the moment with the segmenting. So don't worry too much if it's a word that we've done before. But today we are going to be segmenting the word Sam. So Sam, can you remember how we did this? Sam. We held up our phonics fingers. Well done, like that. And we had to think about the first, the middle, and the last sounds in the word. So say out loud, Sam. Sam. Well done, Sam. So tell me, what's the first sound in Sam? Sam. Well done, everybody. It's 
So we're going to pop that there, just like that. Great job. Sam, Sam, Sam. Oh, Sa, Sa, Sam, Sa, Ah. I think that that middle sound is ah. What do you think? Let's have a look. What we'll do is we'll pop it there. Let's see if we can find that final sound, that last sound in Sam. Sam, 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 mmm. The last sound is mmm. Let's pop it up. There it is. Now we're going to use our blending to check that the word makes sense. So blend with me. S, ah, mmm, sa, mmm. Sa, mm, Sam. Well done. The word is Sam. Now, do let me know if you were able to segment that word along with me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the sound for today up on the middle of the board so that you can see it. There it is, just there. And we're going to sing some songs that have that sound. Okay, so we're going to sing and I want you to listen out for the words that have the s sound in them while you sing along with me. We're going to start with the sun has got his hat on. Are you ready, everybody? And you might be able to hear some seagulls in the background. We live by the sea, so you can often hear them flying around. Here we go. The sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. Now we'll all be happy. Hip, 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. He's been roasting peanuts out in Timbuktu. Now he's coming back to do the same to you. So jump into your sun baths. Hip, 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. Did you hear it? We said it lots whenever we said sun. Well done, everybody. That's a great way to use the sounds that you've learned in your talking. Okay, so we're going to do the next one now. And this one, you can either do like this or like this. Have you guessed it? It's going to be the incy, wincy, Spider. So hands like this if you'd like your spider to have its eight legs climbing up that water spout, or you can do the twisty motion too. It's up to you. The incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So the incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Could you hear all of those s words? Spider, spout. Well done. Let's sing another one. Okay, so we've sung the snake is in the grass, but let's do it one more time just to get really used to that sound. And grown-ups, do let me know if they're saying it properly. Sometimes we need a little help with s. There's a lot to do with the, the lips, the mouth, the tongue and the teeth. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. S, s, the snake is in the grass. Well done. We're going to be making snakes with salt dough during our arts and crafts lesson today, and I cannot wait. Let's sing another song. So for this one, you're going to need your dolly. And if you don't have a dolly, well, then you can pretend. But I have my dolly today, and she's called Sophie. So let's sing together. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she rang for the doctor to be quick, quick, quick. The doctor arrived with his bag and his hat and he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. The doctor looked at Dolly and he shook his head and he said Miss Polly put her straight to bed. He looked in his bag for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning if the Dolly's still ill. Lots of s, s, 
in that one, wasn't there? Because we had Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. Well done, everybody. Now, before we sing a few more songs, it's time for me to say my big hello to you all. So, as always, I'll start with everybody on YouTube. A big hello to... Albie, Matilda and Annabelle. Hello. Oh, wonderful. So you're learning, you've got all the sounds in your names that we've done so far. Hello to Elliot. Hello to Alfie and Dolly. Hello, my Abby. Hello, Soren. Hello to Mutza and Lexi. Hello, Mohammed. Hello to Emily. Hello, Robin and Poppy. How are you today? Hello, Cecily. How are you? A big hello to Elspeth and Ottilie. A big hello to Grace and James. Hi, Grace and James. Hello to Maya. Hello, lovely Maya. Hello, Louie and Fred. Hello, Thea. And a big hello again to Annabelle, Albie and Matilda. Now, let's have a look at who is watching on Instagram today. Let's see, let's see. A big hello to Dylan. Hello, Zoe and Mummy Naomi. Hello to Sebastian and Joseph. Hi, Sebastian and Joseph. It's lovely to see you again. Hello, Oscar. Hello to Olive. And hello, oh, Olive spelled Sam. Great job at, at some, I can't speak, segmenting Olive. Hello, Juliet. A big hello to Luca, to Lily. And please can you tell Amy that Auntie Al is so proud of her for her learning and uh, for learning her sounds. So we're telling Amy, so if you're watching Amy, Auntie Al is incredibly proud of you. A big hello to Teddy and Beatrice, to Nairi, Serena and Milo, to Grace, George, Safi and we've been told that Dolly is doing a lovely sound. It's true. You could almost think that she might be a little snick. What do you think? <laughs> and who else do we have? We have lovely Ava. Hello. I love saying hello to all of you. Are you all being brilliant superstars today? I'm definitely watching and listening out. And I'm also listening for all of those grown-ups to let me know all the wonderful things that you've been doing. And I'm sure they're going to message me. Absolutely. Right then, let's sing our next song. So we're going to sing... Five Little Men in a Flying Saucer. So I need my songboard, my sparkly, sequiny fabric, lots of s sounds today. And I need my five little men. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, and five. There's our five little men. Give them a big wave, help them feel really, really confident. Here we go. Five little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. So one man flew away. Whoosh! All the way over Grace's house. Woohoo! And now we have one, two, three, four. Four little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. So one man flew away. Woohoo! Right over. Oh, where are we going today? Joseph's house. Whee! One, two, three. Three little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. So one man flew away. Whoosh! All the way over Emily's house. Whee! Now we have one, two. Two little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. So one man flew away. Whoosh! All the way over Zoe's house and waving to Mummy Naomi. One little man in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. He looked up and down and he did like the town, so he decided to stay. Hooray! And he's going to go and visit Chloe today. 
Wow, well done everybody. Let's finish there with Twinkle Twinkle. Do let me know if you're using your phonics packs today and if you are, send a photograph so that I can see. Let's sing Twinkle Twinkle. To our superstars, Oscar, Thea, Max and Soren. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well done, everybody. I will be back at 11 a.m we're going to be making salt dough and we're going to be making snakes out of them which I'm ever so excited about so I will see you at 11 a.m please make sure to join me it'll be lovely to see you again have a wonderful morning and I will see you very soon Mwah. goodbye <laughs>